Someone wants you to think about them. Somebody wants you to talk about them, think about them. They're trying to be on your mind. Holy Spirit, can you clarify what I'm picking up on, please? And thank you. I'm telling you, somebody, somebody, you could be a queen of wands. Somebody wants you to think about them. Think about them in a positive way. Think about them as a divine counterpart. Clarify, please. Holy Spirit, you could be a Leo. Have Leo somewhere prominently in your chart because they want you to take action. They want you to come towards them. So they're trying to get you to think of them and have them on your mind so you will make the first move. Clarify, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Queen of Pentacles, you are very grounded at this time. You're not paying attention to this person in any way on the 5D or the 3D. You do have Leo somewhere prominently in your chart, 111. You are living your life without any thought of this person. You are looking at life through a different set of lens here. You are happy. You're trying to remain peaceful, successful, and full of joy. That's what you're aiming for. This person isn't able to give you that. So you ate a cups, any thought of them a long time ago, okay? This King of Wands wants to restrict you from this new energy that you're in. He may also have Leo somewhere prominently in his chart. He's trying to put you back in a place that you used to be, that you have eight of cups, that you have escaped, that you have withdrawn from. Okay? So he has been trying to make you have some sort of belief about my alarm went off that was confirmation hierophant emperor queen of cups he wants you to get back to that traditional belief that you had that he was your divine masculine he wants you to show him the love and appreciation that you used to show him he wants you to get back to an old mindset, okay? He wants you to think that he's someone who is grounded as well. But you're restricting yourself from this person energetically. I think you can pick up on the magic that's being sent towards you. And it's just causing you to place this King of Wands up under further judgment. It's causing you to not want his offer at all in love. Okay? Because you are picking up that he's trying to spiritually influence you. And you don't want no parts. You don't want no parts of this man's love. You have placed him up under some, some sort of final decision making like because judgment falling right up under the eight of cups you have decided that he is not for you that he is not who you thought he was to you that don't mean he can't be that to somebody else but if he out here trying to spiritually manipulate you restrict you from living your best life and moving on from him then he got some healing to do he got some inner battles he fighting that he need to balance and heal from with this temperance energy, okay? This masculine could be a Sagittarius as well. He could have Sagittarius and Leo somewhere prominently in his chart. Libra too or Scorpio with this judgment king of cups. You could have water in your chart, earth, and Leo prominently somewhere for you as well, okay? <clears throat> so he trying to put these illusions in your head and make you think it's fact, but it's fiction. Seven of Cups up under the Hierophant. Hierophant is about books and education and knowledge, facts, honey. 
what we know to be true and morally and ethically correct. He wants you to think it's morally and ethically correct to partner with him and view him as this emperor energy. But I feel like this person brought a lot of this into your life. This person, <clears throat> excuse me, does a lot of magic. <laughs> so he ain't no, no divine masculine. Nobody out here doing magic to manipulate people. Mindsets, page of swords out here half inverted. <clears throat> He's been watching you to see if you've had a change of mind about him. <clears throat> He's been watching you to see if you've been thinking about him and watching him and wondering what life would be like with him. He he been watching you to see if the magic is working. Page of Pentacles falling up under the magician. Okay. But the magic ain't magic and you still are moving forward in life. Eight of Wands is following up under your energy. The fool. I'm trying. I'm saying, okay, you are innocent and free of this spiritual manipulation. If anything, you are alchemizing thoughts of him into thoughts for yourself of how you can move forward in a productive, positive way. Continue to strive for this sun energy. Hangman, <clears throat> you got a new perspective on him and life. You've surrendered this belief that this masculine is your divine counterpart, your kingdom spouse, and you moved on. You moving on. You in motion. Whoever I'm picking up on, this is real time. And he's been trying to make you think of him and possibly even say things about him to people. Ten of Cups. Make you think that he is where your happiness lies. Make you dream of that future that you once had in mind for both of y'all. Okay? He could also have Pisces somewhere prominently in his chart. Definitely working on your mind. Trying to make you obsess over him. But whoever you are, you're too strong-willed. Your mind is too sharp. You're too grounded. You're too down to earth to sit up and be dreaming about a man all day. If a man is constantly in your mind all day, you immediately recognize that as some sort of spiritual manipulation. And you know that's somebody that you need to move away from because why are you thinking about him so much? That's, that's your mindset. And it keeps you in alignment. You believe in cause and effect. There's a reason why this man would be popping up in your head constantly and in such an obsessive way. And you have worked to free yourself from that. Okay? I feel like this person has been sending a lot of lustful energy at you. Making you feel like intuitively... Because your feelings for him were intuitive in the beginning. But you're operating with logic now. Okay? <clears throat> but he wants you to go back to this Knight of Wands. Passionate. You know, I'm going with my first feeling type of vibe. You're being more logical. You're thinking it through. Like I said, you, you're in this mode of, well, if this man, like I reference before is constantly popping up in my head then that means something ain't right with him that means it's a cord i need to cut that's your thinking whoever i'm picking up on so this attempt to make you think of him to be in some sort of head in the clouds energy has not panned out you are in the queen of swords with the death you got a clear understanding of why you needed to transform your life away from this person. And you've been getting good news as a result. You've been doing the work. You've been soul searching about who and what 
a true divine unified love and partnership entails. And you realize that what you had with this, this energy, this King of Wands, King of Cups, was some sort of third party vibe that was constantly having you in pain. Constantly leaving you sorrowful and disappointed. Constantly putting you in a position where you had to work hard to regenerate yourself. To get yourself back in alignment to balance your chakras. To heal, honey. It took a lot of work to heal from whatever you have experienced with this person. And we ain't got to get into the details. You already know. Whoever I'm talking to. You already know who, if this is for you. <clears throat> you already know. Okay? And I think you are listening to this for confirmation of what you know with this um, Page of Wands Hermit energy, what has been spiritually revealed to you even to be true about who he is. That's why you have cut him off so sharply with this Queen of Swords to the death. When you at one point were very passionate about this masculine, but you truly have moved on, transitioned away from anything that you thought you and him could have. And I feel like part of this three of swords pain that you had to heal from was this man possibly choosing someone else at one point and moving on from you. Okay? But you know how that go. You already know how that go. So now it's it's time to try you again. And you know this this is giving that second fiddle. Set, you know what I'm saying? Second chair energy, knight of cups, five of cups. Let me try to come back over there with a sleek love offer because I regret not giving this person a fair shot. And now I'm doing something spiritually to shift the cosmos in my favor with her again. Because I know she know better. Because the light been shined down on me and who I was to her. So I'm trying to do something spiritual. Child, look. High priestess. Trying to do something using some sort of secret esoteric knowledge and methods to get her back in my corner. But it ain't working. And if this man pop up in your mind, you be quick to ask the Holy Spirit to remove him from it. Five of swords, the world. That's not a energy that you are fond of. You don't have fond memories of him. See, if he gonna do a spell, he need to do a spell which includes, well, I ain't finna say that. But how he gonna... Try to make you think of him when all he's created for you is bad memories of him. Five of swords with the world. You are happy to get out of that, that toxic cycle that had you here. Okay, so he's, he's, get, he's trying to make you think about him. But he's making you think about the truth regarding him. You get mental clarity about his butt. Even more, my, even more illumination is occurring you seeing the truth even more with this ace of swords so that's also why it's not working because if he pop up in your mind you're immediately given some sort of revelation or you realize something about the past is his past actions about you clarify holy spirit that's what i'm getting queen of wands you free yourself of, of, of this mindset that you need to be with him or engage with him in any way because you think about the times when you was trying to be with him and engage with him and what you went through. So you have had to fight some battles to get, I'm telling you, strength, queen of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, queen of wands, strength, star energy, you had to heal. Five of Pentacles, five of swords, three of swords, ten of Pentacles. You shouldn't have to heal from somebody who's supposed to be your divine partner. 
And you know that you're independent of this belief that that's what comes with him because if that's what came with him, you wouldn't have been in such a destitute state, okay? So you are in the Queen of Wands, Ten of Pentacles when it comes to still making yourself available but not setting any type of standard you're just going to let it happen you're going to be out here living and doing your thing again being very happy in some sort of jubilee energy and the ten of pentacles will come how it's going to come that's somebody vibe but it don't come with him two of wands hmm the, you and the ten of pentacles okay I don't feel like this Ten of Pentacles is necessarily a partner for you. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, you could have a partner coming in, but you are in the Queen of Wands with the sun. You feel very free, very happy, just you letting it flow. You following God's lead. He watching you, trying to, trying to figure out how he can get you to come to him, prepare an exit out of what you're currently experiencing how you currently living and come towards him but no i'm telling you you ain't with it king of swords right behind that you're not with this slick offer that he's making trying to lure you in make you come in with some sort of amendment apology effort to reconnect he don't even want to man up and do it himself he don't even want to come in that's how you know you don't need food with him okay because he don't even want to put forth the effort to have this victory with you the physical effort not no spiritual effort physical effort on the 3D, do it the right way, do the right thing to have a victory with you. He's trying to triumph over you by spiritually luring you in, making you come in, chariot, making you do all the footwork. Give him some sort of verbal affirmation that y'all are supposed to be together like you have done before you've done it before now but you're remaining at a distance you're going in another direction your back is turned to what this man is trying to make you feel and do you are working and investing in other aspects of your life you may be working on a specific project right now that you're trying to put out or put together like you are not focused on him. You are not focused on this, this energy that he in to try to get y'all to celebrate together. You are focused on making your wishes come true and being happy. That is a goal for somebody. That's why I said I'm not even really picking up that that 10 of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles energy necessarily means that you are in a partnership. I feel like you are like being everything that you need to be to yourself right now. You don't need anybody to come in and make you feel any type of way. You just out here living and being happy, making your own look, making your own wishes come true. Creating new opportunities, new experiences for yourself. It's about you, okay? Anything else here, Holy Spirit? So just, I, you are already mindful, but this is confirmation for somebody. Whoever I'm picking up on, you already know what this man been trying to do now. Knight of Swords in reverse. You already know what he been trying to do to disturb your chi. That's the word right there, child. That's the phrase, honey. Anything else. This was a short, sweet one. He in the Knight of Swords in reverse to try to Make you believe that he is a viable partner and somebody you should reconnect with again. But you know better. 
Woo. You know that this man, the leader, it was, let me tell you what came out now. You know this man Knight of, ha, is in some sort of methodical energy with this Knight of Pentacles. Let me show y'all real quick. I ain't going to pull it off because I'm about to wrap this up because I have to go. But this man is in some sort of methodical energy to make you feel like you are, you and him should be together, that you, he's your twin flame, that you should give and receive to him with this Six of Pentacles. He's doing something spiritual. Two of Pentacles, Moon, Tower, Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, trying to mess with your mind, make you think of him, make you feel like you should not have ended it even. But you're remaining independent of that. Ace of Pentacles, you got good control over your mind. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, you, you're truly independent of this love bombing that spiritual love bombing i'm picking up on but this is confirmation for somebody okay so i'm dropping the mic i hope this message helps you i hope it gives you insight and guidance on how you should move forward but always remember if it doesn't apply please let it fly take only what resonates leave the rest and i'll be back soon with another one y'all peace